Hey guys, welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and we got a tall, healthy stack of new releases. This is, I think, one of the last new release videos of the entire year. But before we bid farewell to the year that was, we got we got some stuff to talk about. Also, I will direct your attention to the beautiful, the the slimming black shirt on yours truly. This is the new, the latest design from the Serial at Midnight t-shirt shop, which you can find linked in the description of this video, or just go to SerialAtMidnight.com. Remember, SerialAtMidnight.com should be your first source for everything Serial at Midnight. Uh, this shirt is on sale right now uh, for $15. I go through a shop called Threadless, and they are running a promo right now for the holidays. All shirts, $15. Bucks. Um, and if you get $60 worth of stuff, which is four shirts, there are nine Serial at Midnight shirt designs on my shop. There are, if you get four of those, that's 60 bucks. You get free shipping and you've supported Serial at Midnight. Listen, why no 4K? It's the anthem heard around the world by a physical media generation that demands the best, the most expensive, the most uh, prestigious format for their physical media entertainment. Now, why no 4K the shirt? It's like space balls. Why no 4K the bed sheets? Why no 4K the lunchbox? This is just the beginning. Why no 4K the skateboard? I don't know, we'll see where it goes. If you can support Serial at Midnight, I do appreciate it. All right, let's move into our new release coverage. We got some stuff from Imprint and ViaVision, which is the parent company of Imprint. This is the latest Imprint TV release. This is Imprint Television release number four. In case you're curious what number three was, why it was the Emma Appeal collection. Now we have the Tara King collection. So where Emma Appeal leaves off, Tara, enter Tara King. Uh, these are gorgeous box sets. I had no idea when they released the Emma Peel collection that we would be getting something like this. I mean, maybe they didn't either. I don't know. Maybe it was all hinge. Everything hinges on sales. The When you wonder why something doesn't exist or why something does exist, economics. It always comes back to what's making money or what's not making money. So I am super thrilled that I have both of these uh, beautiful collections for the Avengers. I'm going to leave it to... Avengers scholars to pour through these and to figure out what of the Avengers is not collected here because so this is the last basically the last season of the Avengers TV show after Diana Rigg Dame Diana Rigg left the show uh, the Tara King character enters uh, Linda Thorson and 33 episodes and then the show's over and then there's like a new Avengers thing later right but um, this preserves a lot of the earlier now people go like, well, why not a complete series, right? Well, first they go, why no 4K? And then they go, but why not a complete series? Because a lot of the Avengers is gone. It is dead so. It, no, it, it no longer exists. At the studio back in the day, this stuff was recorded on tape, right? Uh, the Avengers later, you know, later moved into film. But in the early days, we're talking about videotape. When space was limited, wipe the tape erase just erase we're missing the episodes of doctor who we're missing episodes of the avengers because just erase the tape we need the space that's how disposable this stuff used to be which is one of the reasons i'm so grateful that we get anything like this for home media because i'm like well this is this is the kind of preservation i never even dreamed about now i've got avengers on dvd i this has more than my dvds has first of all this has uh you know what i'm gonna i've i've left this this hype card on it. I'm going to let you freeze that. I export these videos in 4K, so you should be able to read that. Uh, I'm not going to read all that to you, but listen, it's all those episodes, 33 episodes featuring that character, that actress, with commentaries and features and featurettes and like the kitchen sink approach. I mean, so much stuff here. And uh, bonus disc, the early years featuring select episodes from series one, two, and three, previously unreleased audio commentaries by actress Honor Blackman. Early Avengers, early surviving Avengers episodes is what we're talking about here. So that's amazing. Uh, and then I think maybe the coolest thing here is the worldwide Blu-ray debut of a oh, hold on. Where's the movie? Of a movie called Mr. Jericho with Patrick McNee from 1970. Never been available on Blu-ray. Why no 4K? Because 4Ks are expensive and it's the smallest market. Uh, so, the, I mean, look, you see all the special features there. This is great. I'm going to show you the the discs here. So they call them 
one of the things I loved about the first volume when I covered it is that they called the discs files. So this is series six files one through three, which is discs one through three. Uh, and then here's the second, this files seven through nine. No, hold on, I missed one. Files four through six, and then seven through nine. I'll show you how they're laid out in here as well. I mean, just beautiful, just beautiful. And then there's, uh, you saw the bonus disc in here too, right? The early years. The book that comes with this is, it's an episode guide, it's a retrospective, it's a history. It is thick. Look at all that text, you guys. So every episode has its own recap. This is episode 12, Super Secret Cypher Snatch. So episode guide. And uh, they've also given us a history of like what was going on with the Avengers at that time. Super influential show. I think a show that took a while to find its audience outside of the UK. Uh, I, mean, I can't speak for Australia because I actually don't know. But I know here in the US, um, you know, we're we're a little bit removed from that. But I think that, I don't I love the show. I, like I said, I got the DVDs. Uh, also, from this is not from Imprint. This is from Viavision. It's the same parent company. Carry On, the Carry On Collection 3. So they've now done three of these collections of the Carry On films. Worldwide Blu-ray premieres. This is going to be the, the next uh, four films in the series. We got loads of extras. We look, audio commentary by Bernard Cribbins. By the, by the way, rest in peace, Bernard Cribbins. You can watch the Doctor Who. Uh, say what you will about the 60th anniversary specials. We got to see Bernard Cribbins again, which was really, really cool because he's gone. He's no longer with us, but he's captured on film. And uh, it was really cool to see him. So I, I love Bernard, Bernard Cribbins. Bernard Cribbins. Uh, Amanda Berry, Julie Stevens, Angela Douglas. Uh, Fenella Fielding and uh, endless open opening titles for Carry On Spying. We got a photo gallery and then a 112 page booklet containing reproductions of the original press book for the first 12 films. That is huge. Uh, here are the films themselves Carry On Spying. I think a lot of people are going to connect most. The, 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 let me some, some Western stuff. They're, par they're British parodies of classic genres. Here is the one that I think a lot of people, this is the gateway, I think, for some people. Uh, really, really fun stuff. And here's the booklet. Again, this the press book, right? So it is an archive of the original press materials for all the first 12 movies. I mean, this is amazing. The effort that this took to uh, to track down, I mean, I just really appreciate it. Gratitude continues to be one of the themes here at Serial at Midnight. Uh, yeah, we, we do have to buy this stuff if we want it, but it exists in the first place for us to do that. Do you know how many years, how many decades I wished certain things existed? And now I find myself, this is why I say the golden age of physical media right now for decades. Oh, I would love to see whatever. Maybe you catch it on TV. You do go through the TV guide looking at the schedule. Maybe you can catch it and record it off of television. Now... It's like everything is available. It's at our fingertips. Uh, let's do a hard switch here to classic flicks. They have just released the 1940 film Our Town. Now, we know Our Town, right? It's one of the most classic plays, a well, play associated with America. Uh, they made like To Kill a Mockingbird is in the same the same sentence as, uh, as Our Town. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful story. I know my high school did it. I wasn't in it, but my high school did it. This is... A beautiful new restoration. Get the notes here. Uh, restored by classic flicks from a 35 millimeter film elements, uh, preserved by the Library of Congress. Thornton Wilder's Our Town, starring William Holden, the great William Holden. Uh, Martha Scott makes its Blu ray debut. And it's interesting here because we got audio commentary by actor and film score restorationist Ray Fayola. Thornton Wilder interview with actress Lily Palmer. Get this. So the play was written in 1938. Uh, in 1939, there was a radio adaptation, radio production of it from the Campbell Playhouse. That's included, the radio version from 1939 with Orson Welles in the cast. I'm a huge Orson Welles fan. Uh, and then in 1940, the movie comes out. After the movie comes out, most of the cast from the movie does another radio version for the Lux Radio Theater. 
uh, May 6, 1940. So that's here too. So we got the film restored and we've got the two surrounding uh, radio versions, which is just next level preservation. I think that there's a real a real um, need for radio drama preservation because I think that's something that's with so much attention being placed on resolution, uh, radio stuff tends to fall through the cracks, but I know a lot of people that love it. It's like audio dramas, right? I mean, we listen to audible stuff and we listen to podcasts. This is available right now. I believe I'm recording this on release dates or maybe right before release date. Classic Flicks puts so much love, care, and attention into everything that they do. Show them some love. If you're interested, show them some support. Uh, from Grindhouse releasing, uh, William Griffey's Impulse. This is the one where William Shatner is basically a serial killer. And I'm sure he had a field day with this. Uh, in fact, I know he did because there's a panel on this disc. So this is uh, a, a new 4K restoration. Compl- well, but it's a Blu-ray. It's actually two Blu-rays. But why no 4K? Because 4K is the most expensive format and the least supported. The least adopted. That's why. Uh, it has uh, so a new 4K restoration. Provocative in-depth interviews with director William Griffey. Kingdom of the Shatner. Uh, William Shatner live in Santa Monica, October 9th, 2022. Additional interviews with the producer and makeup artist Doug, uh, Doug Hobart. And our director Roger Carlton Sherman. Audio commentary by William Griffey. Haunting alternate French t- uh, soundtrack liner notes by Jacques Boyreau. And uh, hours of rare cinema treasures from the vault of William Griffey. Now listen, Will- William Griffey. Like, we love... First of all, by the way, here's the different art. Here. Just, just making sure that's safe for YouTube. This does have this art on the reverse side of this art wrap. And like I said, it is a it's a two disc. It's a two disker. And um, it comes with a booklet. We have this art card. I, I know at one point Grindhouse was doing autographed versions of this by William Griffey. More on that in just a second, but beautiful, beautiful. Make sure all this is okay too. Beautiful liner notes. You know, I love a booklet um, more than some other extras. Uh, William Griffey, legend, hashtag legend. I think we all probably know about the He Came From The Swamp uh, box set that Arrow put out a few years back. Keep your eyes peeled here because I hope to be speaking to Mr. Griffey before the end of the year to talk about this release, but also to talk about his career and uh, filming in Florida. You know, I'm a Southern boy. I'm not far from Florida. I was born in Florida and Florida still feels like home to me. So I cannot wait to talk to him about regional filmmaking. You know, Fred Olin raised in Florida now too. Uh, If we could get uh, Charlie Band down to Florida, boy, to think about what could happen. So anyway, this is available right now. Arrow. Oh my goodness, we have the third entry in their ongoing, we didn't know it was going to be ongoing, it started as just one, uh, but it has turned into, what was it, it started with Vengeance Trails, uh, Blood Money, I think it was the second one, now we have Savage Guns, Spaghetti Western Restorations, these box sets with four classic, sp- they just call them four classic westerns, they've all been Euro westerns so far, I can't imagine they're going to deviate from that, but um, these are gorgeous, so this is... Um, the latest volume with I Want Him Dead, El Puro, Wrath of the Wind, and The Four of the Apocalypse. That's a big one. So let me unveil the majesty of this box set. These are Blu-rays. And they all have, here's I Want Him Dead. El Piero. I'm holding this up so you can freeze this, by the way, because we're not gonna. I'm not gonna read all that. Oh, look at that. Made by Haro Maestro Lucio Fulci toward the end of his Italian Western cycle. But the people know Fulci did spaghetti westerns. He also did Italian comedies and sex comedies, which is so good. He's the father of gore 
well, it was Horschel Gordy Lewis. He's the father of like that Italian thing, right? The dude came from comedies and stuff and spaghetti westerns. It's just interesting uh, how all these guys just did every whatever genre was selling at the time. That's what they did. Uh, it pushes the genre's characteristic cynicism to heightened levels of nihilism and brutality. Here's the front. By the way, those um, Fulci comedies have yet to see the light of day. Where are they? Uh, in any form. DVD, Blu-ray, Lino 4K. Uh, they have yet to see the light of day in, in like outside of Italy. You can even import some of them from Italy, but they're not subtitled, and I don't speak Italian, and that's the tragedy. Maybe I should start learning Italian. Uh, if I watch enough of these movies, I think I'll start picking up. I actually already have started picking up on some of this stuff. Here's the here's the essays here. These booklets are great. I like the the use of the the glossy glossy paper too. Look at that. Got a double sided poster. So, I don't know, like, how far will this go? Milk it, arrow, milk it. Keep it coming. Like, I, I hope that these, well, they must be selling well. Because they keep putting them out. So, that's a good sign. Again, this is one of the things, like, for years and years. You know, I watched Spaghetti Westerns on these, like, Mill Creek sets. And who else? Like, you know, all the... Che like, Echo Bridge Entertainment was putting these things out. And they were TV prints. Those TV masters, like, 40 years old. Not four. 40 years old. Struck for television. And they'd... You know, they're always, like, 235 widescreen aspect ratios. Or even if they're 185. Widescreen. And so... They'd smoosh it. Right? And so the movie is, like, you're, they're all stretched out like the tall man or something. And it just looks like garbage. And, it, and on top of the fact that it's like a third generation dupe of probably a 16 millimeter source from videotape. Now we have this is wonderful. It's wonderful. Uh, also from Arrow, uh, the Warriors on 4K. So people are like, is it worth the upgrade? I mean, it's clearly a step up from the, the Blu-ray. Uh, when the Blu-ray came out, why no 4K? Uh, that's clearly a step up from the Blu-ray. I love this movie. This does have both versions. It's got the theatrical, which for me, go theatrical. And it's got the direct... Is it that they call it the director's cut? The alternate version. They don't call it a director's cut. They tell it the, the 2005 alternate version uh, with the archival introduction by director Walter Hill. I much prefer the theatrical. But uh, we have both versions here. They're each on their own disc. They're both 4K. There is no Blu-ray here. This is only 4K. So if you are a why no 4K person, this is for you. But you ain't watching this on a Blu-ray player. You have to. This is only 4K. Uh, this is a stunning set here. I'm going to hold this up. Freeze it. Freeze it. Read it. Love it. Memorize it. Know it. Pass it on the test. That's right. There's a test at the end of this video. Oh, you didn't know. You didn't study. Well, you will fail and you'll be held back and you'll have to watch this video again. <laughs> okay, just riffing. Uh, here is the, you notice this is different too, by the way. Different art. And this does have, okay, if, you're, if you're a purist, this does have, it does have the classic art wrap or art on the uh, reverse of the art wrap. <clears throat> Let get our all our tchotchkes out here. We've got uh, theatrical cuts. Warriors, come out and play. Here's the alternate version right here. Great movie, by the way. Uh, it's it's Greek mythology. What is it? It's the Odyssey, isn't it? The Odyssey. It's like they've got to get back home. They they've been on an adventure. Now they got to get back home. Uh, got an advertisement for Fighting Back, which hit this year. Look, check this out, guys. Stickers for the gangs. If you've ever wanted your own Warriors gang stickers, here they are. So there's one sheet. There's another sheet. I think there's four in total. And here's our art. Here's our art cards. And on the reverse of each card is this artwork. Now I've lost my place. Hold on. Okay.
Here's the reversible poster. Better here. Better here. And dish, 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 dish. Remember that scene in the Warriors where somebody got beat down with a book from a Blu-ray? So from a 4K? Well, 4K is it's a 4K Blu-ray. Uh, this thing is huge. It's huge with a Y, not even an H. It's so huge you have to use a Y instead of an H. Uh, really lengthy interview here. All right, look, look, great stuff, right? I think a lot of fans are going to be happy. For those who've been waiting for like the ultimate version of the Warriors, I know who put it out imprint put it out was that this year or was that last year i cannot remember if that was 2023 or 2022 when imprint put that out uh a lot of us were like okay if only we could get enough <laughs> a lot of people were like what a 4k uh here it is we finally have it hold on let me set this down right here gotcha. two more uh, from MVD, Mondo, New York. This is a really, really cool documentary. I'm going to just read this, this, the top line here to you guys. Homes and outcasts, misfits, losers, perverts, lunatics, gangsters, pranksters, outlaws, neurotics, psychotics, maniacs, brainiacs, hippies, yippies, yuppies, junkies, flunkies, monkeys, all trying to claw their way to the top of the trash heap, all screaming, me, me, me. I want my fame, my fortune, my lousy 15 minutes. My whatever the F it is that I, that I want. We got it. Mondo, New York. Um, documentary about New York, the underground punk art rock whatever scene of the 80s. When was this film? This was 1980. Was it the 90? Hold on, I'm looking for the year. 1988. Uh, restored and remastered from a brand new 2K HD. Why do 4K? Uh, new take. <laughs> I should just wear this for every video, and then anytime some like we talk about 4K or blue, it serves all purposes. It's a 4K master. A. It's a 2K master. It's a DVD. Uh, it's a new 2K scan. Mondo New York is a cult classic celebration of the perversely compelling uh, tribute to the mutant artists and anti-stars of the Naked City 13, circa 1980s Berlin Cabaret. Uh, listen, Phoebe Legere. That's the reason to watch this. She's on the cover. Phoebe Legere. We just got... The Toxic Avenger movies on 4K. She's in two of these movies. Um, Phoebe Legere. Incredible. I, I have really, just as an artist, just as whatever she's doing, it's so unique and interesting. I love it. Uh, notable, this is being released. So this has the, well, hold on. This guy got, I'm really excited and I'm kind of throwing out my, uh, my game plan here. This has the CD soundtrack. So we've got the uh, the Blu-ray and we've got the CD soundtrack here. They've MBD has also just issued the vinyl soundtrack, which I do have on hand. I'm going to be covering that in a future um, music-related episode that should be hitting before the holidays. we got a reversible poster here, which I, I, I'm trying to remember if there's been a reversible poster in in one of these MVD Rewind releases before. And uh, we have a booklet, which you know I love a booklet. And it's got <clears throat> a bunch of pictures of the people who are associated with this film. Well, there's Phoebe. Uh, from uh, Visual Vengeance, the latest Visual Vengeance, uh, Scream Queen with Linnea, Linnea Quigley. And if you're a Linnea fan, this is the release for you because we've got considered a lost Linnea Quigley movie. Scream Queen now enjoys its first ever wide release on home video. Horror, horror stars uh, Militia Toomes, Linnea Quigley, mysteriously dies after leaving the set of her latest unfinished low-budget shot on video, Shocker. Soon a mass killer is chopping and hacking their way through the cast and crew as punishment for her death. The super obscure film was shot in 1998 by indie horror stalwart Brad Sykes and eventually finished by producers in 2002. You with me? Scream Queen is a solid 1990s shot on video slasher that bars from the Italian giallo Fulci. Did someone page Fulci? Uh, he's busy doing Italian sex comedies. Uh, and also takes swift jabs at the U.S. independent horror movie scene at the time. So it's got a new director approved 480. Why no 4K? Because uh, it's shot on videotape. I, they can get 4K out of videotape. That's what people say to me all the time. Why is it Three's Company on 4K? 
Commentary with writer-director Brad Sykes. Once Upon a Time in Horrorwood, a new behind-the-scenes documentary. Bonus second feature, original producer's cut of Screen Queen. A new Linnea Quigley interview, editor Mark Polonia interview, behind-the-scenes image gallery, Linnea image gallery, visual vengeance trailers. Guys, we got two different pieces of artwork here. There's, uh, there's, a, whole, there's a third one here, too. Third piece of art. We've got our four-star video card. We've got our stickers. We've got a booklet. Well, it's actually a fold-out pamphlet. And for the Linnea Quigley fan who has everything, except this, if I can get it unfolded, <laughs> a poster of Linnea. So I think that's going to appeal to a lot of a certain generation. It's the video store crowd. This is marketed to the video store crowd. And that's me. That's my, that's my generation. Generation X. Uh, tons of stuff here, guys. I'm going to remind you that there's an Amazon link in the description of every single video that I put out. If you use that link, you are supporting Cereal at Midnight, no matter what you buy. If you buy pretzels, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Uh, if you buy... Just looking around for random things. If you buy Toxic Avenger, you know, then they got that. If you buy uh, Fantastic Four action figures, it just knocks stuff over. If you you, you want it, you got it. We got the you whatever you want to buy. You you contributing to Serial at Midnight. By the way, thanks to all the labels that send this stuff over. People ask me sometimes, how do you afford all this stuff? I do not. This is a service. The labels send me these things to show you because they want you to know about them. I'm the messenger. Uh, I'm not paid for any of this stuff, but I am the messenger to tell you that it exists. Uh, so uh, show them some love if you're interested in this because we support what we, whatever we want, we support with our dollars. Whatever we, every dollar we spend, every dollar we don't spend, you know the drill. Uh, guys, take care. <laughs> Till next time, why no 4K? I'll catch you later.